Bit of breaking news, it involves a Newcastle United goalkeeper, not Shea Given, who's with us. I'm going to get his thoughts in a moment, but Martin Dubravka has now signed for Manchester United. It's a season-long loan deal from Newcastle. He'll spend the season at Manchester United with the club having an option to make the transfer permanent. We're told £2 million loan fee, £6 million after a certain amount of appearances. Uh, Shea Given. And what do you make of this one? I mean, he was number two at Newcastle behind Nick Pope, and yeah. he's gone to Manchester United, presumably, to be number two again. <laughs> Wasn't like Newcastle, Peter. Um, no, I mean, the Barafka's had a brilliant career, I felt, at, at Newcastle. He made his debut against Manchester United. He was man of the match, you know, and, and the fans are like, wow, who's this guy? And, and to be fair, he has, he has done well, but obviously when, when Nick Pope came in this summer, you know, he probably looked at it and thought, the writing's on the wall for me. Um, and of course, again, Newcastle got to balance the books a bit as well. They've got, a, as you say, a two million pound loan fee, and, and of course, a fee at the end of that as well. So it looks, from the outset, that he's definitely going to move next summer. I mean, Dean Henderson, David De Gea. There's going to be next summer as well. There's going to be them both aren't going to stay there at Manchester United as well. There's going to be a big decision to make there for for Ten Hag, who who stays and who goes, because Henderson started the season really well as well. But um, yeah. no, De Bruyne, I think the fans will 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 be thankful for what he's done for the football club. I think he's done really well, and um, and wish him well. So he goes in as a, as a number two once again, Shay. What mm. what makes a good backup for a number one? So when when you come in and you're in the goalkeeping room, you're all training together, this so-called goalkeepers union. Yeah. What do you need from your backup, from your number two? Um, <laughs> Somebody with a lot of patience, I think. Um, I wasn't great at a number two. I, I didn't really like sitting on the bench or, or whatever. And it's, it's it's a difficult position because you're training together every day. You're doing the same work. You know, you're travelling, and, and the manager only pick one person for the for the spot. Um, so it's a really difficult position to be a number two, but you know he's decided to go to Man United. Maybe he thinks he can get it to get into the team. Maybe if the has a as a, as a loss of form or suspensions and, and get his get his chance at Manchester United, I'm, I'm sure he's still ambitious to play as well. So, um, but just it's not an easy position, number two. I don't think you know anyone really wants to, to be that one. But of course, all the top clubs have number twos, number threes, and probably even number fours at this stage. You know, so um, does it make a, your number one better if you've got a great number? Two? I mean, Steve Harper yeah. famously pushed you for yeah. so long at Newcastle, and yeah. you, you kept him a number two for so many years. Uh, I mean, well, probably Steve stayed at Newcastle because he was a local lad as well. You know. I mean, and he was a brilliant number two, don't get me wrong, he was a, a great friend, still is as well, and, and he was a brilliant goalkeeper, but the thing that probably kept him there more was because he was from the North East, he's from, from the area and stuff, and he didn't maybe want to leave his family and, and friends as well, you know, but, you know, Steve Steve maybe would have played regularly somewhere else, but they, he loved the football club and, and, and wanted to stay, but, yeah, the Braff guy, I mean, it's, I think it's probably a decent move for him, and I'm sure, as I say, the Newcastle fans will wish him well. And you say that, there'll be some Newcastle fans, just looking at the responses on social yeah. media, some Newcastle fans are saying, first sign of competition, and he's off, hmm. you know, because obviously Nick Pope's come in. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it just, it, it's fascinating to me that he's chosen potentially number two to be a number two somewhere else. And as you say, when Henderson comes back, mm. um, then they've, I mean, there's just another line reaching us here, actually. This has just been sent in by Keith Downey, which is very interesting. He says, Newcastle have got a recall option that they can use in January if they require. So interestingly, if there's a number of injuries, mm -hmm. So, say Nick Pope gets an injury. Yeah. I mean, he, he actually was struggling a, a certain part of the match early on last night, wasn't yeah, he? And yeah. Carl Darlow was, was warming up. They've got Mark Gillespie as well. But an, a recall option is fascinating in January because yeah. if there is an injury to a goalkeeper, you can call him oh, back. It changes every, day, every minute, the story, doesn't it? But I, I felt with the loan and then the permit thing in the summer, it was a done deal. But obviously, maybe Dan Ashworth and, and Eddie Howe just looked at it and thought, we'll have to cover our backs in case they have an injury crisis. And, and of course, Debrafka knows the club brilliantly well, rather than taking a risk with another goalkeeper perhaps you know but you've got to give Nick Pope great credit as well the way he started his Newcastle career he's absolutely been, been brilliant you know mm -hmm. the fans have talked to him seen last night again you know the reception he got from 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 the away end at, at Anfield was, was special and then and, and you know it's another great signing from from the club